Hey guys, we are back here for another video, guys, and we got to jump right into what is going on with this mad foolery. Did Scrappy use Erica Dixon for a storyline, honey? Because he is hinting, and I'm going to give it a strong hint, at reconciling with his ex-wife, the Bam, y'all. Let's jump right into this video because we got to find out what is really going on and guys before we get into the specifics of this video i do need you guys to do one thing and i'm sure you know what it is i do need you to like share and make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you are subscribed great i need you to also enable your bell notifications so you don't miss out on a video or when i go live I don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. Now, guys, it really seems like Scrappy is either confused or maybe he need help. And when I say help, I mean mental help. I don't know because this man goes from one woman to another. Now, I am really excited that him and Erica are not fighting anymore, but they are, you know, being positive um, co-parents, if you want to say that, but Scrappy had expressed that he wanted to be back with Erica. Now, I know Erica's like, look, I'm not taking you back because we've been there before. Um, but then, of course, he says so many terrible things about Bambi and she says some terrible things about him. But now it seemed like him and Bambi may be hooking back up. So it just seems like a very, very, very toxic situation. And also, if you guys recall that previous episode on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, where Erica said that, and Scrappy has stated this in many interviews, that he in fact did want to be back with Erica. But what Erica said is that she told him that the ball is in his court which pretty much means, listen, if you want me back, do what it is you feel you need to do. And if it works, it may, you know, be, you know, an opportunity that we get back together. So now we're seeing something totally different here, y'all. Now, this is a post that Scrappy posted on to his social media. Um, you know, he got flowers. Great. But in the caption, guys, it looks like Bambi sent him flowers. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but y'all went from toxicity to you are so appreciated that I'm going to send you flowers. Well, let me just kind of explain what's so crazy about that. Perhaps if y'all would have sent each other flowers in the beginning, maybe you would still be married. So it's given very much, both of them seem toxic. Now, again, I'm, I get it. They should be working it out. But this is something else because when you decide to separate and go on your way, you may not have hard feelings, but baby, I'm not sending you no flowers. So this seems to be something else going on. But guess what? I got more, y'all. Let's keep watching. Now, this is the caption that Scrappy put under his picture of his flowers, honey. Now I'm going to read it verbatim. So if it don't sound right, this is what he wrote. He said, in my life that I've lived, I guess he meant that I've lived, sacrificing for my family and my kids. You never really hear or get gifts or being a good person. I'm not trying to be funny. I am trying to be funny. If he was getting appreciated for being a good person or if he was a good person, because that's not what his wife previously said, perhaps they will be together. He said husband or father. Now he references himself to a husband. I'm very confused. But he does say or father. But yesterday I received these flowers on my front porch out of nowhere. And I seen a familiar name on it. I asked the person, what's going on? And they said, I appreciate you for being a present parent in your kid's life. 
and thank you for always being there while they have to do work or do anything. I'm still confused because she said he was terrible, but I'm glad she is starting to see he's not as bad as she thought he was. She said that means a whole lot coming from someone you had kids with. Thank you, Bambi, for the acknowledgement, and I appreciate you for being an amazing mom. Keep up the good work. Now, this is what I have to say, y'all. It seems like they want to be back together because I done been there, done done this. This is not what you send to somebody that you don't want to be with. I'm just being real. Because keep in mind, they were hating each other. I mean, and it seems like that was just love that was unrecognized because I'm so glad that they are appreciating each other so much that they had to get a whole divorce to decide that they actually appreciated one another. Now, guys, we must not forget about that viral picture, or should I say video? I'm sorry, it was a video of him and the BAM in the hotel together. Now, everybody was going crazy about this video, and I was like, it's cool, but it seems like they were sending us signals the whole entire time. I just will never understand why people blast each other on social media that the other person is such a horrible person when what it is is they do not or did not know how to handle themselves as adults because clearly neither one of them is either of the person that they pointed each other out to be. Now, I'm not saying they shouldn't reconcile, but I'm just saying it could not has been have been as worse as they thought it was. It just seems like they had more feelings in it than needed to be at that moment. But now it seems like they are understanding that they actually want to be together. Now, let's get into what they were actually doing in that hotel together. Right now, this ain't got nothing to do with co-parenting. Our kids ain't here. This is, this is not, definitely co-parenting. This is not co-parenting. This is definitely co-parenting. We both just talked to our kids. We did, but this is not co-parenting. This, this is, is fucking co coexisting. This is co-working. We not even working right now. We off the clock, but we still at work. I'm not at work. I ain't doing shit. I'm at fucking work because we can't shit. leave and go nowhere. Because if we leave and go somewhere, <laughs> we fired. So we're at work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we at work. You right. Right. I know. <laughs> Shit. We is on the clock. Okay, they got all the employees standing in the same hey, place. So guys, and breaking this down, if you all recall on this last episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, what Erica revealed is that Scrappy, and again, we've heard him say this before in the past, that he wanted to get back with her and she was putting the ball in his court, y'all. Let's jump into that. Well, Scrappy and I have been talking then. I told him, you know what? I'm open to giving him another chance. But the ball is in his court, and we're going to see what happens. So let's, let's toast to that. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. To new beginning. New beginning. Now listen, guys. It just seems to me that Scrappy is potentially or has used Erica Dixon for a storyline because I don't care what anyone says about co-parenting this is not co-parenting this is clearly seem like he's trying to get back with bambi or maybe you know erica was playing hardball and he didn't want to meet her demands so maybe he's doubling back to the old wife but something is not adding up at one point they couldn't stand each other and i get it you know co-parenting that's great but you don't need to send somebody flowers to co-parent. There is definitely something else going on. But of course, I want to know what y'all think. And guys, I'm sure you know the drill. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, please go ahead and hit that bell so you are notified when new videos are uploaded or whenever I go live. And do not forget to like the video.